This morning, we were able to get a chance to finally take a look at the Disney treasure, where we also found out it's going to be setting sail in December of 2024. Extremely excited stuff. So we only get a small snippet of what we're going to be seeing throughout the area, but at the same time, that small snippet is a lot of really cool things. The entire thing was themed around this guy named Arthur, so while we're watching some of these clips, we're going to see Arthur kind of hanging around. But the first thing that we kind of learned about was the Aqua Mouse Curse of the Golden Egg. Now, if you know me at all, I absolutely love the water slides on the ships, including the Aqua Mouse over on the Wish. This is going to be a brand new storyline that the Aqua Mouse will be getting. We also learned about Jamba Sweets, which is inspired by Zootopia. This is going to be kind of where the inside out snack location was found over on the Disney Wish. Now, remember, the Disney Wish and the Disney Treasure are sister ships, so there's a lot of the same layout on both ships. Kind of like how the Magic and Wonder are sister ships and the Dream and the Fantasy. We also have an area called Sarabi, which is kind of inspired by Sarabi from The Lion King. This is going to be located where Luna is found over on the Wish, which is perfect for a gathering place for different things like bingo. Now, over at the Walt Disney Theater, which is, of course, coming back, we're going to be getting Beauty and the Beast live on stage again. Well, not live on stage. That's from Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is going to be the Beauty and the Beast show that is originally found over on the Disney Dream. Plus, they announced we're going to get a new show. We just don't know what the new show is going to be yet. There's going to be a new Skipper Society Lounge, which is going to be kind of based off of the Jungle Cruise. This looks like it's going to be where the Bayou is located on the Disney Wish in addition to that, we also have the Periscope Pub inspired by 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I'm extremely excited about this because it looks like you're actually inside the Nautilus. Um, I'm guessing from the layout of what we saw in the pictures, all the concept art here is just that. It's just concept art, so it's not the official look of the thing. There could be changes, but it looks like it's going to be located where the Hyperspace Lounge is located over on the Wish. Uh, next up, we saw Worlds of Marvel. Unfortunately, this was my least favorite restaurant found on The Wish. But at the same time, we usually do get repeat restaurants from ship to ship to ship. And it looks like this is going to be one of the ones that is repeating. However, we do have an exciting new restaurant, which is going to be Plaza de Coco, inspired by the movie Coco. Which looks like an amazing experience with Miguel there and a mariachi band performing for you, the guest, at night. On top of that, we did take a look at some of the suites and the verandas. Uh, we have the veranda staterooms look like they are Aladdin themed, while the concierge suites have a Lion King theme. They did say there are going to be four royal two-story suites that are themed around Bagheera. Bagheera is from the Jungle Book and Raja from Aladdin as well. In addition to that, we do have a funnel suite as well, just like we got on The Wish. This one is going to be the Tomorrow Tower Suite, and it is inspired by Epcot. Now, the previous Funnel Suite did not seem that exciting for a lot of people. I think there's so many Epcot fans out there that this could book extremely quickly. And then the final thing that we did take a look at is the Oceaneers Club. Obviously, the Oceaneers Club is a great place for the kids, and it looks like the theming is going to be very much on point as it was for the Wish, including things like a Marvel area, a Star Wars area, an Imaginary area, and a whole lot more. So that is our look at the recap of today's broadcast about the Disney treasure. Let me know, are you excited about the Disney treasure? I cannot wait. Like I said, it will be setting sail in December of 2024. As always, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you once again tomorrow.